a local food pantry says an upcoming benefit change could affect families in need. Emergency SNAP benefits, first introduced as a pandemic safety net, will expire at the end of this month. News 8's Lincoln McGee is live at Gleaners Food Bank with what this means. Good morning, Lincoln. Hey, good morning. So the SNAP benefits, uh, the emergency ones, they are going away this month. So that means in June, starting June 1st, it's going to be going back to what it was pre-pandemic. So here's the SNAP benefits, uh, the outreach program. This is going to show you that they have it here at Gleaners. And joining me over here is Lindsay Riddick. She knows all things about SNAP benefits. Uh, so just explain to us, how will the emergency SNAP benefits going away impact people? Yeah, so during um, the pandemic emergency allotments, they were taking away all um requirements around receiving SNAP benefits. So once before you had to do income requirements and household requirements, it was just by household. Okay. So every household was getting the max benefits. Um, so if you were a one person, you were getting the max benefits for a one person household and so on and so forth. So it doubled, tripled, sometimes quadrupled people's benefits during the pandemic. And so now that they are getting taken away, they're going strictly by household or strictly by house poll side was prior to, and now they're adding on all of those pre-pandemic okay. mm -hmm. requirements. So income is going back into factors, um, what they make outside of income, so like deductions, those are all going back into factors. So prior to the pandemic, a senior who was on Social Security could have been making around $44 a month okay. with SNAP benefits. During the pandemic, it got boosted to 250. Wow, that was a lot. yes, it was the maximum amount for a one-person household. But now that all of the restrictions are going back, she's going to get lowered down to about a hundred dollars a month. It's still going to be more than pre-pandemic, but it's going to be a lot less than what they were receiving. Definitely, yeah, big difference with some of this going away. Now, if you guys want to apply for SNAP benefits at Gleaners, they can show you how to do that, um, help prepare you for what you need to actually uh, get enrolled in these benefits. But again, this is the last month for those, those uh, emergency SNAP benefits. They are going away starting June 1st. I'm Lake McGee for WishTV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.